session for a couple of minutes. We're going to reconvene. We're going to reconvene into meeting status since we have everybody here. We're reconvening at 7:30. I'm going to make this short. So there's a couple of things I want to take advantage of, and I want to try to do tonight. Okay. First thing that everybody in the room needs to address. We need to quelch the story that keeps on surfacing out there that we can never get a quorum together. I don't know where it's coming from, but I would ask every one of you do your best to put that aside. We have not missed a quorum or a meeting. Ever. Have you been taken off the website? I don't know. Is it off the website? Because it was on your website. Um, my website? Yeah. It's the link okay. coming from yours, and it goes to when you click on a regional. Does it actually come anymore? Because we were told not to do anything with the website anymore. Okay, we do here's it. the key. So it, if it's there, let me know because I will go it's, and we'll it's, fix it's it. It's still there. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, no problem. Let's dispel that. It was probably two weeks ago when I looked because I was looking around for skills. I was on there for other things, skill stuff, classes coming up, things like that, and I clicked on. I wish somebody big had lakes, called us. We could have fixed that right there. away. All right. I'll. I'll take care of that with Andrew. If that's yeah. okay with you. Yeah. Because there's Please. some other, there's a couple other little errors on there from Please councils do. and well, person we, to... we need updates. We don't get them. Okay. It's fine. All right. So just that's number one. Not a full blown meeting. We need to take care of that. Yeah. Next thing. I have spoken to other councils, and we need to dispel this. In New York. Department of Health is not giving free Narcan to fire departments. So whoever is putting that story out there, let's bring it to an end too. Okay? We are not just not being done. This this group here last year decided to look at doing Narcan for police officers. Okay. We're caught in a catch-22 right now, trying to satisfy the gateway requirements. So everything has to follow the same process. So if you hear anybody, this is, oh, yeah, they're giving away Narcan fire permits. But frankly, it's BS. I think some of that's coming out of Erie County, where they're giving it out to the general public. Okay, but that's not all. Well, that's not the Remsco. Well, I understand that, but it's but people are hearing this and they don't understand. It. It's I talked with Greg extensively about this. It's I'm going to call it the health department or the legislature. They're doing it. Anybody else have any other information on uh, Erie County? Giving Narcan to everybody and their brother. Well, well, yeah, it's, it's on the news. news. Yeah, yeah, it's on the news. Yeah. But my point is, take the class to get the free Narcan. We joked about pulling down or just I'll, I'll so. take the class to get some. Yeah, you could. Twenty-five minutes. And I think you got to prove you're a county resident. Yeah, but who's paying for it? It's grant money. From? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but Chautauqua County's giving it out too, and uh, yeah, but that's the point, and this is right. where the problem comes. <clears throat> The money through the state health department, through the office, whatever it is that we're working with, that is for police agencies. Now, what Erie County is doing, I can't answer for you. Okay, I was told it was the health department. Blame you. Oh, or... Tracy got back to me just before okay. I got here. <clears throat> She's not. Said... Because I was going crazy with phone calls because I'm a student. Okay. I do that all the time. <clears throat> well, while Elaine's looking at that, United States Air Force, custom officers. Oh, yes, they can't take yep. They do not function under New York State protocol. They don't. They function under federal protocol. In fact, if you are in the Air Force, years ago, years ago, they had an agency code. The state has done away with all of that. 
don't fall under the state of New York. The feds don't. No. But they won't take a temperature at the border. They're going to administer hurricane. They need to take that up with the federal the government. Union? Oh, well, you know. We try yeah. to so it. who was doing it in Erie County? Right? Okay, this is from Tracy this afternoon. We have been offering free workshops for the public to train them on the use of the Narcan kits. Cheryl Moore has been conducting the training with assistance from Captain Mann of the Buffalo Police and partner agencies. Upon completion of the training, they are issued a certificate and two doses of Narcan. In order to refill the Narcan, they are required to return either a completed reporting form or an expired kit either our office or one of our partner agencies. So far, every class has been at maximum capacity in the office <coughs> at the training academy. We also conducted a class for SMART, or Specialized Medical Defense Team, and volunteer fire slash EMS agencies. The demand for these classes is so high that sessions have been scheduled out into October. There is more info, and the schedule is on our website, but she hasn't told me how, how are they funding Okay, this? they're doing it through public health, I think, somehow. Okay, so is this... Is so this we don't have, public that's, health has no money unless... Actually, they, I can answer this. Please. This is going back... You, just, this yeah, is Sandra, I'm learning your name. Sandra Horan. Thank you, Sandra. Going back about five years ago, uh, when I worked at Sheena, the uh, harm reduction division, I'm blanking on the exact name of the, the facility, but it was a public funded uh, uh, place that it's harm reduction against HIV. But the bonus of it was that they're going, they're helping out the individuals suffering through addiction from heroin. Heroin was getting really high on the streets, the pun intended, but they found that through use of the Kits that they and they're giving them out to the public. Anyone can walk into their office and get these kits. And the length of education is you take this pen, it's just like an epi pen, hit them with it. At least that's the way it was set up back then. And they're getting it. And the push was at that point at, from them to start instilling them having the, the rigs, the, the police department started utilizing. Because they found actually within that first week of putting them on the brakes that they actually had a couple lives saved. So this is like the snowball effect, I'm sure. Of you know, oh, who's getting what for free? Yeah. And, I'm interested in the funding, but you can yeah, do it's a coming, different program that's it, it's true, public it, health, but it's yeah. Not. It, okay. It's not an emergency. No. It, it, it's, it's so the bottom line is we're not funding it. It's not part of anything we're doing. So I'm going to ask the program agency, are you funding this? No. And are you doing any of this? Only training when people are getting it for their own agencies. Exactly. But you're not giving away Narcan. Mm -hmm. However. What's that? Your research. I'm sorry. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Your response. How much? You mean about what we've been doing with them? Yes. Yeah. But we've had since since June we we've, we've had twenty five cases, all positive results. Since April first we've had nine of the twenty five. But you're funding yourself. Yes. Yeah, so that was response to yeah. me. We are yeah. taking care of our agents. Yeah. Because and, I and I getting so many calls. Well I yeah, I didn't call you about that. You might have been talking to my brother. Oh, yeah, it was your brother. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Right. But, he did but, respond how it's yeah. being used. We're, we, would, we would like to, uh, we're looking for anywhere we can get any, anybody that will supply with us, and, and, and like Elaine and everybody else, we're running dead wells. We made the joke about going to that thing in Erie County and sitting through class so we can get some for free. But uh, it's well, not it's serious. I just it's wanted not to cheap. know what to tell people when well, they're. It, know, oh, and it's been going up since we started using it. Well, yeah. Narcan is about sixty dollars now. What's that? Sixty dollars a dose. Now. Well, Nar Narcan is cheap. A dose of Narcan is about four bucks. You can buy a bag of nasal atomizers. 
a bag of them for 20 bucks. They sell them to you in a kit, they charge you 60 bucks. It's a scam. Yeah, well, that's the way we get them. The pre filled syringes are not cheap. Oh, yeah, they are. They're, they're not that dirt cheap. Anyways, we're getting off the subject. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so it's clear as to where it is. Charlotte, you're not giving it away. No. You're doing training but. as part of your training program as people call well, upon you. Thought. Okay. <laughs> Here's wait, wait, wait. Can I add something? Sure. I was informed by a, an agency in Genesee County who is having strong come in and do their training, who mm -hmm. says they will supply them with Narcan upon completion of the training. But that's a hospital, a hospital. Private digging home. into their pocket yep. to supply you with something. Yep. But right now, the, right now, for volunteer fire companies, for volunteer ambulance services, there's nothing. You can get the training. You can get the training a variety of ways. You can go and use Dr. Dr. Daly's videotape and get the training. You can go get the training from the state health department, as a young fellow pointed out here. Uh, it's available there. Okay, end of that subject. Uh, I need some help. The core sponsorship for Niagara University, the specialty core sponsorship, not the regular one. The specialty core sponsorship has already been submitted to the state of New York, but I need Number one, now I can't hear. Right. <laughs> RC. <laughs> okay, your Miller. John Miller makes the recommendation. Second, John Frozen Ball. Carol, did you got that for me? Recommended for relevance. Especially for sponsorship. By Miller. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Okay, carry. That takes care of that. All right. Quickly. We're due to come back here next week. We'll come back here next week, or do you want to put it off to June? I won't be able to be here next week. I can't yeah, make this. Okay. You're not going to be here. You're not going to be here. You're not going to be here. We're down now to 15. All right. Here's just for discussion. I am going to the state council meeting, the SEMSCO and the CMAC meeting, in the middle of the month which I believe is 11, 12, 13 of May. If we put it off to June, I can give you a report as to what happens in Albany. Just a suggestion. If we have a meeting in June and there's a light business and nothing is pressing, I would say we would not be <coughs> during the summer months. It would be in September. I'm trying to get this to be a little more efficient. Yes, sir. Jason, make a motion. Yes, sir. Make a motion. We move the meeting to June 10th. So Wednesday. Second Wednesday. Okay. Second. Second by Steve Cooley. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Stain. Motion carried. All right. Is there anything, this is always a loaded question, that is a crisis state that we should address right now? Okay. Entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Colangelo. Second. John Duran. Okay, adjourned. Those of you that could just stick around maybe for five or 